any conversation you're having with any organisation that are giving you a, a, I call it a language pattern, something they're saying that could be <coughs> negative or positive. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And sometimes it shuts you down. Mm-hmm. Any language pattern that you have that becomes a conversational stopper mm-hmm. should be reviewed. Any language pattern that you have that becomes a conversational stopper must be reviewed. Anything like that. So, for example, yeah, uh, we, we've, all, we've only got one school. Well, we've, got, we've got one group activity, and we're happy with that. Yeah? So instead of you talking and, uh, and trying to say, would you like to do more? Which is, it's a good question, would you like to do more? You put a challenge in there, or you add in a statement that should exceed what they're saying and blow it right up. So, for example, something, uh, uh, something along the lines of, okay, all schools, yeah, would you agree that all schools should be... Now, you're asking a rhetorical question. Would you, wouldn't you agree that all schools, yeah, and it's going to... Uh, this question's going to sort of um, gain agreement or disagreement. So wouldn't you agree that all schools should be committed to creativity and development for young people? And the person will say, of course. This is what we're all about, creativity and development for young people. Therefore, how do you feel about expansion? Now, when you, when you ask that question, you cause the person to change their perception on what they have already. You're already starting to create change by asking a question in a different way. So what I want you to do is start writing down all the language patterns you're receiving from your clients, all the conversational stoppers, and then linguistically countering them. Yeah? So we're adding in something that creates change, something that someone has to agree with. And the chunk up here is creativity. They've chunked down to you by saying, we don't want this. You chunk up by saying, wouldn't you agree that all schools yeah, should be committed towards creativity and challenge for young people. So if you have, if you have a couple of after-school clubs on, that are, that are at no cost to you. Wouldn't that be highly beneficial to the young kids in your school, to the children in your school? Are you okay with that? <laughs>